New Maywa Market just kind of gives me just a small taste of what is available in the pork world in the Chinese market, in a Chinese restaurant, and like how it's used. So I'm gonna meet my friend Ravi, we're gonna head over to Spices, and we're gonna get some really classic Szechuan style pork dishes. There's something special about what they're doing. Dude, that's gorgeous. They all work together to make the food come out to the table, to make everything correct. I feel fortunate enough that I've been coming here forever. <laughs> New Maywa is a really, really special supermarket. We're in another subculture, so, you know, having this, this inner Richmond area be a, a second Chinatown, it's really vibrant, and coming here has always been a lot of fun. I mean, they have live fish tanks, they have every cut of meat you can imagine, they have every produce item you can imagine, dried items, you know, it, it's all here. Awesome! What's so great about coming here is I can get vegetarian cold smoked pork products. So I have vegetarian bacon and I even have vegetarian ham. I like how they do the streaky bacon in there. And then this one's the ham. So we're gonna have a ham, vegetarian ham sandwich later. You know, when you compare this particular ethnic market to what I like to call a white guy's market, it's amazingly different. A lot of times when you go to a white guy market, all you see is pork tenderloin and pork chops and pork loin. And here, this is all about really respecting that animal and, and using every part of that pig. There's dishes made with the liver, the kidney, the heart, the spleen. There's pork belly dishes, there's pork shoulder dishes. There is dishes just made of skin. You sell a lot of offal? You sell a lot of these parts every day? Yes, we do. Have you eaten pork uterus? I do. What do you, how do you cook it? Uh, actually, in Mexico, we eat it like for tacos. So you basically, you braise it? Yeah. And then you put it on the plancha and with right. chilies? Wow. It's good to know. Every single day, these guys are blowing through tons of pork. How many pigs do you go through in a week? For the week. For one, one week. week. One week, 50 whole pigs. Yeah. On an average, what, 200 pound pig? How about 200 pound pig? This is what I would call a classic Chinese market, yeah. right? Yeah. These cuts are gorgeous. And look at this, dried puffed pork rinds all across. Pork rinds, chicharrones. Chicharrones, 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 chicharrones. It's got a swastika on it. <laughs> what the f is that? What's a swastika on something? Good lord. We're not at your mom's grocery store anymore. New Maywa Market just kind of gives me just a small taste of what is available in the pork world in the Chinese market, you know, and like in, in a Chinese restaurant, like how it's used. So I'm gonna meet my friend Ravi. We're gonna head over to Spices and we're gonna get some really classic Szechuan style pork dishes. Earlier today I went over to, um, to New Maywa. It was amazing. Like, so to go to like the traditional white dudes market and then to go in over there, it's like, oh, it's pig's blood, uh, kidneys, liver, spleen. They had spleen, beautifully clean, everything. They had pork uterus. I learned something from the butcher. He said that they, they braise it and they chill it and they press it. And then he puts it on a plancha and then they make tacos out of it. Because the butcher was Mexican. It's been a pretty interesting learning curve. You know, it's like, especially we, I also went to the Mexican test and I went to La Palma. And I looked over there and how they're doing it. It's the same mindset with purchasing. It's like purchase for the day, fresh only, that's it. It's like a crossover right there, boom, boom. Yeah. Two cultures, love the same animal. Use it all. I know we want the tan tan with the pork and peanuts. Mapo. The spicy mapu tofu with minced pork. Twice cooked bacon, let's do that too. Ooh, yeah, there's also spicy Chinese bacon. Oh God. What's the difference between the two? Is it the same dish or 81? No, it's cold. Yeah, this one's cold? cold. Yeah. Ooh, let's do that. Let's do a cold and a hot. Okay. Perfect, great. When you come here and you're like, oh, I'm gonna have twice cooked bacon. It's interesting, it's like, that is, a, that is an entree. Whereas bacon in, in the US is breakfast. Is or breakfast. Like a kutuma, or like a, a garnish. Pork is a major flavor agent for everything. And I think it's so amazing that one can take so much out of one animal. Well, that looks great. Fire Almost. engine red thing going on. It's there. Mm. Mm, that's good. And it has a nice, it like has acid in it too. It must come from the little um, pickled vegetables in here. See that? So good. The spice level's starting to creep up slowly. Cold bacon. Dude, yeah, that's gorgeous. Mm. This is not breakfast bacon in any way, shape, or form, dude. Chili oil, garlic, it's little scallions. Oh my god. That's great. The textural difference between this one and the cold bacon is incredibly different. You hold up one of those, 
And I'm gonna hold up one of these. But look at that. Yeah, it's like similar. Similar, this one's a little thicker. So this one's hot and this one's charred. Black beans, chilies. It's too sub. I like the difference. Hot bacon, cold bacon. You watch. I guarantee you I'll do a version of this in two weeks, Sicilian style. I think so far this is my revelation today. I wonder how many generations of this recipes have come down through. The Chinese have mastered every major cooking technique. They can execute it at the highest level. Oh, like yeah. their braises, steaming. Oh yeah. Like what, what culture steams mm. better? Frying? I mean, uh -uh. you can't, you can't out fry a Chinese fry maybe, style. Maybe a really good tempura in Japan. Should have ordered with those guys, man. <laughs> What's that? That's making a lot of noise. There's a restaurant in Chinatown that serves a throat, a trachea. Mmm, I had that in Japan. They would get in the whole, the tongue with the throat attached down to like the rest of the organs, like pretty crazy. It's pretty, pretty insane. Really? They just cut the trachea, skewer it, and then grill it from raw in just a couple minutes. Chewy as hell, but they appreciate that. And for a country like ours that has the best teeth in the world. <laughs> we don't want to use them. We don't want to use them. There's nothing wrong with toothsome. Octopus is toothsome. And, and there's a difference between tender and tough. Toothsome falls on more in the line of tender. It's about savoring the moment of that meat. <laughs> that particular dish, that cold bacon dish, for me, was a game changer. You have acidity, you have chili, but you have that porky richness, silky smooth. That I'm gonna modify and, and, and really kind of translate into a new version of a dish. It's like, that's how dishes are inspired. That's how things happen. It's just perfect. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Thanks for coming to play. Pork U is just all about the swine and how special it is and how it taps into the world. And hopefully I can lead everybody in a really good direction. <laughs> Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.